Hi, my name is Eric, and I'm making a video to show the great benefits um, of having an attic fan, and how it can save you hundreds of dollars on your cooling costs. So this is what the fan looks like on the outside. It's just a grate here, and it has these shutters on it. And when the, you turn the fan on, it's incredibly powerful, and it will, it will actually move so much air that those shutters will just flap wide open. Now this is the high setting, and when you turn, the, when you turn on the high setting, you'll see that the fan opens and, and you can hear the motor running. It's got a huge blade up there. Um, I believe you can see that up there, but there's this huge 30 inch blade that's moving very fast up there. And you can see, you can see how the fan is just pulling the pulling this thing straight up and you can see all this air going up into the fan. Now this is, see this will give you an idea of how much air that flows through that fan is we're all the way across the house and around in the kitchen right now and this is the doggy door as you can see there's one of the dogs now and you can see that the that the, the fan is actually sucking the doggy door open um, just from the uh, air pressure. Hey Duke, come here. Come here. Okay, so get him out of the way and you can see, you see how the doggy door is being pulled open by the force of the air. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. We're well away from where the fan is and to, to illustrate how much air that fan is sucking, I open this window We'll put this strip of plastic in the front. It basically creates a wind through the window. And this is not due to this is not due to the wind blowing at all. It's a very calm day. So you can see that, that, that under normal circumstances this will hang vertically. And if you put it in front of there, there's a full wind. Now, this will, will make a wind like that on any window in the house. We're going to turn the camera over to this window. And open this one. And you'll see there's, it's going to have a huge breeze. And it will have a huge breeze in perhaps 10 windows. You open up 10 windows in your house and they'll all have a big breeze blowing through. Okay, here are two bedroom windows. Now keep in mind we're basically about 30 feet away from that hand, the fan. The fan is down the hall and to the left, all the way in my living room. So the fan is a good 30 feet away from us. But if you open this window, you'll see there's a steady breeze blowing through here. And keep in mind, this is with the, all the kitchen windows open and the living room windows open as well, but it's still pulling this much air through. And you can see, look, this hangs vertically if I put it up here. When you put it down here, you can see the breeze that's blowing through there. Likewise, this one. You open this one. Doesn't matter how many windows you open, the wind is going to, the breeze is going to blow right through. So on a hot summer night when it's, when your house is overheating, you'll find that you can turn on the fan, open up every window in your house and your house will completely, the air in your house will completely exhaust to the outside in about a minute or two. So now that I've shown you how powerful the fan is, I'm going to let you know that I usually don't even use the high setting because it, it moves so much air that I don't feel it's necessary. I just open the windows and I usually put it just on this low setting, which I'm going to put it now. And when I turn on the low setting, it just it, it, it's just a little quieter and pulls a little bit less air. Um, so you can see that's one of the only the only uh, complaints you can really ever have about a fan like this is that it makes a tiny bit of noise. But as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear right now on the microphone or what it sounds like, but I'm standing in the living room and, and 
I could barely hear it. It's, um, it could easily watch TV, listen to music, read, whatever you wanted to do. And it's actually kind of a soothing sound in a way because it really is what you, the only thing I really hear is air moving. I don't hear any sort of, there's no sort of uh, electronic buzz or, uh, you know, a, a loud motor sound or anything like that. It's basically, and I'll put the, I'll put the camera right up to it, the microphone right up to it so you can hear for yourselves. That's basically what it sounds like. This vent up here called a gable vent. And, and I, I've installed a fan on the inside of the attic that's blowing air out that hole. And it's a, it's a very good shot of my roof from the back. And as you can see, it has these two what I call really birds up there on the roof. They look like that. And they provide a lot of venting in the attic, um, which is a necessary part of this, having the whole house fan. Because the whole house fan is going to be forcing air into the attic, and it needs to escape from the attic, or else the air will not flow. There are there are huge amounts of air being forced by the attic fan up into the attic, and then this 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 and the gable ends are where, and the whirly birds on the roof are where it escapes. And as you can see, there's a good sized breeze coming out of that hole. So there you have it. It's a pretty simple plan. You just basically cool your house down at night using the ceiling fan. And, when, and you open up all your windows, turn on the ceiling fan, and it will exhaust all the air out of your house. And basically, whatever temperature it is outside will be the temperature that you'll be able to achieve inside, um, which is an enormous improvement over not having one. Because when I used to come home, my, my house would be 80 degrees inside and it would be 70 degrees outside. And no matter how many of those little box fans or whatever I ran, it would never get any cooler. And it took all night to cool off the house. This cools off the house in about two minutes. So if you want to understand uh, what types of results you'll get out of this fan, what you can do is uh, search the internet, look, look at weather.com, accuweather.com, or just type in Google average temperature for, and then type in your city, and it will tell you the average temperatures um, by month in your city and you can see what the low temperatures are usually where you live and whatever the low temperatures are that's the temperature you'll be able to achieve with the house fan because because it will be basically importing all its air from the outside so overnight you're going to be getting your house temperature down to whatever the low temperature is um, that evening then as soon as morning comes around and you're facing another summer day you close all the windows and try and trap as much of that coolness inside your house as you can. And then hopefully the, the, as the day wears on, it won't heat your house up too hot until you get to nighttime again when you can turn on your fan. And everything, pretty much all of Los Angeles will be comfortable uh, at night about 99% of the time. But there, there are a couple of days that we experience 100 degree temperatures and at that point it's pretty difficult to keep the temperature down. But overall, uh, the vast, vast majority of the time, this works perfectly and it always, almost always works perfectly at night. So I highly recommend it. Um, the other uh, consideration is that the, uh, the attic fans, which were gable mounted, which I showed you a, a picture of the peak of the roof, those fans um, enhance this even more because those fans will run during the day and exhaust the air out of your attic, which will keep your house from heating up during the day, which makes your life go much easier than um, simply relying on this, this fan because this fan remains turned off during the day um, because you don't, you don't want to import the hot air from outside in during the day. So you're going to have your house fan off during the day, but you want the attic fans running during the day because you don't want your attic to overheat. So that's the program. I hope that many of you try it because it's a, I've had excellent results. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm making a video to show the great benefits um, of having an attic fan and how it can save you hundreds of dollars on your cooling costs. So this is what the fan looks like on the outside. It's just a grate here and it has these shutters on it. And when the, you turn the fan on, 
it's incredibly powerful and it will, it will actually leave so much air that those shutters will just flap wide open. Now this is the high setting. And when you turn, the, when you turn on the high setting, you'll see that the fan opens and, and you can hear the motor running. It's got a huge blade up there. Um, I believe you can see that up there, but there's this huge 30 inch blade that's moving very fast up there. And you can see, you can see how 